Oceans play a vital role in the energy balance of the Earth. It is established that the top 10 feet of the oceans, which is roughly 3 meters, can hold as much of the heat as the entire atmosphere above the surface. However, most of the incoming energy is incident in the equatorial regions where the water gets you know, warmer and the water in these oceans, in these regions, is much, much warmer compared to the water in near the polar regions. And this warm water in the equatorial region needs to be transported to the northern latitudes. And uh, this upper layer water is not so rich in nutrients, whereas under the ocean, it is rich in um, nutrients. Generally, this transportation is done due to natural variations in the temperature of the water, prevailing winds that cause the disturbances in the surface waters. The cold and dense water from the polar regions basically flows into the ocean, sinks to the bottom, and uh, pushing the warm waters from the surface move towards the, la again, northern latitudes. So this basically establishes a kind of oceanic conveyor belt. Uh, warm, salty water is chilled when it is sinking in uh, in the northern Atlantic and it flows southwards towards the uh, Antarctica. And this is cooled further at the bottom of the oceans into Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific basins. The water returns to the surface, uh, again, primarily in Pacific and Indian oceans, and again it comes back to the surface and goes to the northern Atlantic. While traveling deep in the ocean, the originally nutrient-depleted water becomes increasingly enriched by organic matter decomposition in the important nutrients, particularly uh, phosphates, nitrates, and silicates. And that's how this is a very, very important uh, process here in transporting the CO2 and the, the heat that is available to the surface water. So this oceanic conveyor belt plays a very important role in the heat distribution.